I just wanna let y'all know that y'all the real MVP there. It's like, no, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Cut. I'm Trey Cuts. And for real, for real, I just want to give everybody a big thank you for supporting me over the last couple of days with liking, commenting, sharing, DMing me, giving me a whole bunch of positive feedback on my YouTube channel and my videos that I put out so far. It's really going to keep me motivated to keep pushing out content and giving y'all good videos. So, from me to y'all, Enough. Anyway, I got a good video for y'all today. It's about essential equipment that I think that new barbers should have, experienced barbers should have, and even if you're not a barber, it's stuff that you should expect your barber to have when you go to the barbershop or when you take your child to the barbershop, your grandpa, your uncle, whoever. If you go into a barbershop, this is things that you should expect your barber to have. So let's get right into it, y'all. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if y'all interested in the Barber Life shirts, I'm going to have the information in the description below, and I'll have more information at the end of the video. Shout out to the boy Mikey Raw, and damn good print, and you big time now, boy, you making it, we about to make it, boy! That was Joe. Alright y'all, I wanted to get in closer so that y'all could see the equipment that I'll be talking about. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on none of this stuff. It's not a, This is not a review. Like I said, this is just things that I think barbers should have. Whether you're starting out or you're experienced, these is like basic stuff. You're like you gotta have this stuff as a barber. Point is point blank. Like can't get no more simpler than that. All right, so clippers. These are my my um, wall seniors. These are my Andes masters. Every barber should have a pair of clippers similar to these. You use these to fade with. You use these to take down hair with. They're easy to clean, easy to take care of. They'll last a long time. Invest in a good pair of clippers. Don't go out and get no cheap clippers because they're going to break down on you. Don't get no home care clippers. They're going to break down on you and burn out. Get some clippers that's going to be workhorses that you can use all day long. Like, all day long. All right, next. The guards, these are guard, these are premium guards for the wall seniors. If you're a barber, you should get these guards. Like, these are the best guards for walls. It's like, for real. These guards really thorough, and I really like these, and I started to use my seniors a lot more because of these guards. Um, these are the master guards, the master's guards, the nano magnetic guards. These are the double, the double magnetic guards, and it's got some single guards. They corny, they cheap, they not durable. So if you got a pair of masters, get yourself some of these purple guards. They're the best guards for the Andes masters, hands down, and they go in a lot of other clippers. Trimmers. Trimmers, 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 trimmers. You can never have too many trimmers. I have like six pairs of trimmers. Some I don't even take to work, well, to the shop. These are T outline and this T outliners that are not modified. If you a new barber, get yourself some T outliners that's not modified. Learn how to work them. Learn how to shape up with them. Learn how to adjust them before you try to move on to the to the skeleton T outliners. Because they're a little bit more advanced. And you got to learn how to cut with these. Because they get uh, they get fat, they get hot faster. So you want to make sure you take your time and learn how and learn these trimmers. Trimmers are basically what you do to outline with. 
make sure that your barber has a good pair of trimmers. You, if they have these, then they're good. The thing that doesn't make the T-outliners good is the adjustments. If they're not adjusted right, they're going to bite you. They can leave red marks. They can make you bleed. A simple test for them, if you're a new barber, a simple test is to put it on your wrist. I like to use up here on my arm. Simple test, just bang, bang. If you see it's turning red, then that means, or if it hurt, that means you, you need to readjust your trimmers. If you want to learn how to adjust them, I'm going to have a video on that some other time. Or you could go somewhere else on YouTube and learn how to do it. Yeah, so get your, invest in some good trimmers. There's plenty out there in the market. Wall makes them, Oster makes them, and this makes a bunch of different trimmers. Go out there and find what's best for you. At the end of the day, it's all about what's best for you when it comes to equipment. Make sure you're investing in the good stuff, though. It's all about what's, what you're comfortable with, what's going to give you the best cut, and what, what you think is going to give the best cut. Every barber should have a pair of these. These are the uh, five-star shavers. And just came out with their own, but I'm a fan of the five star shavers. A lot of people like the five star shavers. All the shaver is is it takes the little stubbles off when you're doing a bald fade, or if you're cleaning up the back of somebody's neck. This will get the hair almost closer than the straight razor will. I love these. Some people actually request these to use for you to use these when you uh, shape them up or cleaning off their face, or taking the hair down, and trying to give them a clean face. So. Make sure y'all get some of these if you're a new barber starting out. Invest in these. These these are these will last you. They'll make your cuts look a lot better when you're doing fades. Shears. There are tons of shears out there as well. Make sure you get some good shears that last a long time that can be sharpened. And when you're using your shears, don't be using them to cut paper. Don't be like don't don't do no crazy stuff. Like like be it's for hair. It's for hair. Don't be out here doing all this crazy stuff with it. Like for real. You cut hair with it. Don't cut anything else with it because you'll dull them quick. There's plenty of places you can send them to to get them sharpened, but you shouldn't have to get them sharpened like that. These are thinning shears. You use these a lot of time on straight hair. When you cut in straight hair, they help thin the hair out or blend it, depending on what you're doing. Find a good pair of these also. They'll help out a lot if you're having trouble blending hair when you're first starting out. I still use mine. Some barbers look down on it. I don't look down on it because they help. You know, it's, it's many different ways to get to a, hair, a good haircut. You, you, every, it's many different ways. A straight razor. This, this, this is a, I would consider a, a pretty pe a piece of advanced equipment. I don't think that every barber or everybody starting out should have one of these. I think you should take your time using trimmers before you grab one of these but at some point you do need to learn they say the best way to learn to use a straight razor to learn how to shave somebody is to get a balloon blow it up put some shaving cream on it and scrape the shaving cream off without popping the balloon that's a good exercise to learn how to use a straight razor um, we use straight razors to do line up hot towel shaves clean off the pe back of people necks some barbers use them for eyebrows you know this is a straight razor. This is what it looks like. You have to buy the blades for these. You have to buy the blades for these. They don't, this isn't one of. This is not like the old fashioned ones, where it was just a whole piece of metal and you sharpen the metal. No, you actually buy individual blades for these. Moving right along. Sand neck strips. Every barber should have some sand neck strips. They they're the neck strips that go around your neck before they put the the cape on. A cape. Any beautician should have a cape. You simply, everybody know what a cape is. They throw it around you to keep the hair from falling on you. And your clothes, the neck strips is going to keep your neck clean and keep you from itching. A lot of kids hate them. You know, they hate the neck strips. A toothbrush so you can brush your teeth. So, you know, these are to dust the hair off of your clippers after you just cut somebody's hair. Simple as that. That's, that's all you really use the toothbrush for. You're not going to, don't. Don't use this on people. Don't put this on somebody's head. That's nasty. Cool care. Cool care is very, 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 very important. To me, it's the best smelling um, clipper side on the market. Make sure you, you get some. If you're a new barber, this is the best stuff you can get right here. They have different kinds, but this, to me, is going to be the best one. If you've ever been to a barber shop, you've smelled it. 
you've seen it and I'm gonna show you how to use it some barbers they really draw with the with the the, the clipper side they spraying it like it's air freshener like they really they, they really be spraying it like it's air fresh like yo like some barbers really be going in like that was drawing I could taste it I don't, I don't even know why I did that back back to the uh, back to the stuff you ain't gotta do all that it's just it's just simple bang 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 dust off that's all. That's it, dog. You ain't gotta do all that stuff. You ain't gotta be spraying it all crazy as unnecessary. Clipper oil. Get yourself some clipper oil. This is the best one. A lot of times, you you buy clippers. They come with clipper oil. Get some clipper oil. It, every time, every day. To me, every day or every time after you cut hair, you should be putting some clipper oil oil on your blades. It's simple. You don't have to use a lot of oil. Put some in the corners. And in the middle, let it run and let it go. Don't. With a, and a lot of people don't tell you this. Some some guys have those those stations where the clippers sit up. Those are actually not good because the oil runs down into the motor. You want to have them hanging upside down or laying flat so the oil can drip back. You don't want to have the oil dripping in your motor. It's going to tear your motor apart. It's not good for your clippers. A neck duster, simple. You dusting off people's neck with this. You dust off their face. They have some talc powder you could put on there to help dry the face up to get the little pieces of hair off. This is the alcohol that I use. It has a cherry almond scent to it. To me, it's the best. Every time I use it, the barbers in the barbershop be like, what's that smell? What's that smell? It's the best alcohol. Clients like to smell it. It's, it's a nice smell. It's good stuff. So that's pretty much it, everybody. I'm going to zoom back out and talk to y'all about these t-shirts. Like I said, that wasn't a, these wasn't a clipper review. This was just simply me telling y'all things that I think barbers should have that's essential for new barbers and experienced barbers to have in a barbershop and what to expect if you go into a barbershop. So, without further ado, let me talk about my man Mikey Raw t-shirts. If y'all interested in these t-shirts, y'all can come to South Street Barbers. That's 1302 South Street. Y'all can come to South Street Barbers and talk to him about getting a t-shirt. Any size. He has a lot of different colors. I'm going to have a, a, his um, Instagram in my description. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, at Trey Cuts with a Z and an underscore at the end, I'm going to have a picture on my Instagram with the shirts on there, and I'm going to also have him tagged in it. So you can go straight to his page and DM him about the shirt. Most likely, he's just going to tell you to come down to the shop and pick one up. Also, I am still having a giveaway. I'm doing it next week. I'm not sure what I'm going to be giving away. I'm thinking about doing like a restaurant, maybe a Target gift card. I'm not sure yet. I ain't figured it out. And I still got to think about the details on how, I'm the, how the winner is going to be chosen. I know it's going to be chosen at random, but it's going to be something that you guys have to do to get that those gift cards. So thanks for tuning in. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Cuts with a Z and underscore at the end. Like and subscribe. Share my videos. If you have any comments, comment. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, make sure you tell me why you don't like it so I can improve my videos. It's only going to help me in the long run. I thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.